and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. We are back at it again, giving you some comedy relief from the otherwise cruel, cruel world. Welcome back to the Top 10 Funniest Tweets, this time part 7. Now this series is a compliment to King Burkish Delight's dumbest tweets, which are funny too, but in a laugh at them kind of way. This list is designed to be more of a laugh with them. Ok so let's start things off with a classic knock knock joke. At kids write jokes right, knock knock, who's there? Go away, I'm having a poo. Um, I mean, I don't know what I find funnier the fact that a kid came up with it or the fact that actually it's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm such a child. Ok, so speaking of poo, this next tweet is a real life tweet. It's not a joke, this is actual factual life. I repeat, this is not a joke. Tweeted out by BBC World, we have Patrick Stewart will voice the poo emoji in the new emoji film. At first, I was like, well, joke. But then I realised that actually this is real. This tweet's from the BBC, Patrick Stewart is genuinely going to be the voice of the poo emoji. Although I have to say this joke is less funny than Sir Patrick Stewart's career prospect after this. <clears throat> Not a task that I'm looking forward to. Ah, how the mighty have fallen. Olivier award winning Sir Patrick has starred in X Men and Star Trek, but now he's literally voicing a turd. Some could say his acting career has gone to Joking though, I'm sure the emoji movie is gonna have me like. Emojis! Ok so I feel like we've stumbled across a funny man twitter when their bio is, eating pasta by myself makes me a cannelloni. Ba -boom Two for the price of one here, in at number 8 Sean Leary tweets out some last words. He says on his deathbed, tell my wife, <clears throat> yes tell her what? Tell my wifi provider that their broadband speeds were moderate at best, dies. I mean those Tech savvy, just need to know. Bringing it into a classic yo mama direction at number seven, we have this tweet from Chuck Chook. That's right, Chuck Chook. They write, she got straight airs in school. Hashtag your mama so Canadian. I'm not even sure I can deliver it right because I'm not Canadian, eh? This amuses me greatly because I can confirm that these guys love a good A. What other things do Canadians love? Bears, I guess, which leads me seamlessly into number six. At Marky Doodoo -doo tweets, I hope when I inevitably choke to death on gummy bears that people just say that I was killed by bears and leave it at that. Speaking of food, we have a pretty bleak outlook for the future from tweeter John Rules. He tweets this at number five. Me at 16, I literally ate 12 tacos for breakfast and can't gain weight. Me at 38, I can hear my pants screaming when I put them on. I guess I'm somewhere between the two, like right now I can smash five tacos without guilt, but I feel like the number steadily declines every year I get older. Ok so who is up for a bad joke at number four? Some people love a bad joke. Bad joke rhymes with dad joke and to be honest I think they're pretty much the same. The Edinburgh Fringe Festival tweeted out for bad joke Friday, ever noticed how funny mountains are? They're hilarious. Hill areas. Hilarious. Hilarious. I really enjoy the follow up tweets too. At Geo wrote, someone should do summit about that joke. To which the Edinburgh Fringe tweeted, have we peaked too soon? I mean, every day is pun day for those guys. Ok so coming in at number 3, Kevin McLeod gives us a delicious spelling lesson when he tweets, tip for surviving on a desert island. 1. Check spelling. 2. If correct, enjoy. So desert is spelt with one s and dessert with two. Similar spellings. Very different island vibes. I for one would rather be stranded on a dessert island. Mm. Ok coming in at number 2, if I know anything about twitter it's that it's a great place for cats and cat based humour. If you've ever had a cat you will know that a they love to get in boxes and b they're kind of assholes. At Lukchansky has a great way to resolve this issue as he tweets this picture. I love the caption, owned, idiot jail, that'll teach them, idiot jail for cats. Ok so we are here at number 1, is there anything funnier than when someone discovers something a bit cheeky about a huge brand and shares it on twitter. A huge brand like say McDonalds. I think the best thing that Sam Skies has ever done to date is to draw fingers on the McDonalds holiday cup that was supposed to look like mittens but actually, well you'll see. He tweeted this annotated cup saying, how the hell are starbucks cups in the news again and no one's talking about a guy spreading his cheeks open on McDonalds cups. Yep. That's right, this does bring a whole new level of meaning to I'm loving it. Cause you look like you are sir. So that was the top 10 funniest tweets part 7, do you want me to continue or shall we stop here? Let me know in the comments section.
description down below. Also, what parts dumbest tweets are we on now? Because I'm always very, very excited to see all of those too. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. This has been Most Amazing Top 10. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and of course, stay subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10 for more lists coming at you every day.